Hello everybody, this is Dr. Cole, Sunday evening, February 21st, now winter in week 8 of Political Science 3143 Comparative Governments for the Spring 2021 term. Everyone, we have Germany on the syllabus this week. We've already taken a quiz with some material about both Germany and Canada. We had Germany on the syllabus for this week, and of course at the end of the week, everybody, we have the midterm exam coming up. It's going to run into a weekend, so I'm going to leave it open for a total of 48 hours, Friday and Saturday, the 26th and 27th. And Thursday evening, we will chat, if you would like to, for 45 minutes, uh, 7 o'clock Central Time, Thursday evening. That would be, let's see, Thursday evening, the 25th, before we open up the exam for the 26th and 27th. The material would be the first 13 sets of class notes, plus the material for the first four quizzes. Expect 10 or 15 quiz items to be repeated. Then you had, we had seven sets of notes of basically introductory material, and then the first three of 11 countries we'll be looking at one at a time, one week at a time, Britain, Canada, and Germany. The material on Germany will end the material for the midterm exam. We will chat about that. Thursday evening and take the exam uh, Friday and Saturday. 50 true false and multiple choice items. The degree of difficulty should be similar to what you had on the quizzes. And we've been doing okay on the quizzes on the whole, I think. So I hope that everybody will do well. Let me say this about Germany, everybody. Uh, Germany, of course, is a country over which the shadow of the past hangs for obvious reasons going back to the 1930s and 40s. Uh, there are some very distinctive features to the German, shall we say, political economy that many people feel are strengths that could be em emulated by other countries, including not limited to the United States. Pay very close attention to the German party system and the arrangements they make for electing members to the lower house of parliament, the Bundestag. Okay. Uh, it's not a two-party system. They like to have more than two parties, but not too many. They, they felt that in the past, in the 1930s, the time of the Weimar Republic, too many splinter parties were allowed in Parliament, and one of those became the Nazi Party. So, generally what we've seen in Germany is in the post-war era, the Federal Republic of Germany, between three and six parties represented in the Bundestag. There are six of them right now. There have been fewer than that at different times. More than two, no more than six. Okay, so pay attention to how that works. One very important feature of the system is you cannot get into the parliament unless your party gets 5% of the vote. Okay, that's meant to prevent too many parties from securing representation. You know, the Bundestag. Okay, so you read a bit about that for our quiz last week, which covered Canada and Germany. That's what's on the syllabus for this week. We have class notes 12 and 13, lecture notes for notes for class notes for lectures 12 and 13 on Germany to wind up the material for the midterm exam. All right, so that's the material for the midterm. We hope to see some of you in the chat room Thursday night, and then we will have the midterm exam available for you. Friday and Saturday, the 26th and 27th. So study hard, and I hope to see some of you in the chat room Thursday evening. Take it easy.